Right people, hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, we're back at my dad's going to be fixing the uh, downstairs toilet today. I can fix it, it's all in tiles. Nice glorious day today. And I'm working inside. Why is it always when you work, when it's sunny you're working inside, but when you're working outside it pisses it out? So, all tiled. Well, just some little bits to finish off, but not too bad for a, an office work. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll get panning first, and then we'll move over to the top uh, base and get this all taken out. A new vanity unit going in there. Right, so we're just fitting the pan now. So I always we, we've been a back to walls pan. I always use flexi pan connectors just so that I can make sure it's on both sides. And I just push it back. Um, so a bit of lubricant spray on there, and that's in. As you can see, it's a little bit too long. So. Take that off. Yeah. Take that off, and I've got a little tip to show you. So, with these flex pan connectors, at McAlpine only. I always use McAlpine pan connectors, they are best on the market, in my opinion. Um, but you can only do this with McAlpine uh, pan connectors, as far as I'm aware. So, what you do, just keep pulling. Holds it in place in this little. There's no glue, there's nothing, just this little clip holds it all into place. So, what you can do, push it back together, get a Stanley blade, and you can cut it to length. But you always cut in the middle, the bottom of the V, always, you never cut at the top. So, just slide, slice it round. it back together it won't click anymore so I need to push it down on the floor really there we go that's all in now solid and it's all sealed for people who have questioned this but I've been doing this for years never had any leaks and um, I showed it to the Calpine rep and he'd not seen it before and said it's fine um, just because there's, there's no glue it's all like a mechanical fitting as such it all just clicks together so you can't see any problem with it so yeah a little tip for you to get your uh, um, sizzle sometimes so now i've got that on there it's the perfect lineup for all i need it for with the pan connector and i can still push it out so i can still make sure it's in at both sides right so we're just getting our flush pipe um, Cut to length through in there. So what to do is do a little ridge there. Use it tape measure. It's a bit hard to do with one hand. So that two ridge like so. And then with your other hand, if you don't have a phone in it, you can put a level up to it and you can measure from the ridge, the front of the the front of the uh, level there, and that's how you'll you'll know how far you need to come out to the to your front, um, the back of your pan and then push your push gun all the way in get your tape measure I then know that I need 7 centimetres to get me all the way in so then I can cut mark and cut 7 centimetres um, and then that'll be to the right length get it all filed down and Put a silicon spray on there, help that rubber out. Um, don't ever cut these with a ratchet. I've cut these with ratchets many a times and they spill it nine times out of ten. So yeah, don't do that anymore. Make sure you use a, a saw, hacksaw or something. Right, so um so it's all in place now. Uh, we're gonna get it fixed down. Uh, we're gonna use the L brackets. So I'm gonna show you the tip that quite a lot of people have been showing you recently, but I think the original to show it was Brown and Plumbing here on Instagram. I think MJ Tiff has shown it recently, but um, yeah, bit of a tip for fixing toilets down. I'm just going to get in place, I've got my centre mark there lined up with the right line. Um, I've lost my pencil. There it is. So at the side, you've got these little holes. So, pencil line, and then just 
Michael. On both sides. Then pull the toilet out, measure the, the width for the inside, usually about an inch, and then we can screw them down to the floor. So with these L bracket fixings, so you're measuring about an inch, then we'll line it up with the centre. Centre over there with the centre of the line, either side. And then usually you just drill a hole there and screw just the one fixing. But you've got but the thing with that is over time it can become loose and can, can slide back and forth, and that's how your toilet become a bit wobbly wobbly. So what we'll do is we'll get at least two to three fixings at the side. it for you there's a few people showing you it now but hope it helps right, so the pan's all in and fixed now so it's solid so we'll move on to the flush plate so with these like we've seen before just get a, a brand new stamp the knife blade and it's a bit hard to do with them a bit tough All the way around the edge. So yeah, we're gonna cut out. <laughs> Me here for everyone doing this off the camera. We're gonna cut out, and we'll show you how to fit the, uh, the the plate itself. Right, so I'll cut out. So you can see, you've got like a little tunnel here. So I'm kind of falling through there. I really like these uh, systems because you save not having to have a lid on the top. And if you ever need to work inside, you can get work through everything through here. Um, so first of all, before we put it on. So I've done this many times, fit the plate. And I forgot to turn the water off. The isolation valve just under here. That's coming up. Then uh, that just goes a little bit. Pushes back into there, just hooked underneath. And then locks in place like so. You've then got these fixed bars. So, it's going to be too long uh, if I just put it all the way in, so I need to cut this down so you can, it's actually got some snap lines. So <laughs> just snap off. I should be able to just screw that all the way in. Yeah, it's fine. The water's shut off. It's not overflowing. So do that to both at the same snap line. Yep. And then what we always do is put our plate in there like so. And then the, the darker grey ones fix it into place. Now when you was an apprentice, well, you can go and your boss had to say never to use your phone while you're working. It distracts you and stops you from using both hands. That's my problem right now. <laughs> Things I do for you a lot. So yeah, screw them all the way in. Fix them all in tight, so that's all in place now. Uh, make sure you do put it the right way around. The hooks need to go at the top, not the bottom. Um, and you've got the white ones now, so we've snapped them down. They come in the same length as the darker grey ones. So we've snapped that down to the length we need. Then we just go through there. Screw it. Screw it in like try not to flush the tires at the same time. So yeah, you get the gist. So we'll screw that all in and then we can put the uh, front plate on. So that's all in there fixed in place. So before we put the flush plate on, we'll just flush the tire and make sure it all flushes correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so then, plate, make sure it's, oh, it's a bit shiny that one, isn't it? So, the scion is at the top there, so make sure you do get it the right way around. And then all it is, all you got to do is you got to hook it on these spring bits at the bottom first, push it up, and then it'll click onto the top, clip to the top. So, hook it on, and over. So, 
this is why you got to make sure when you do the first fix your system's bang on level because then you know that's it's on level there then here we go all done all finished off make sure everything's shutting off as it should looks like the, the uh, plate might just need pushing back a little bit it looks i think yeah so all the problem there is this these two just want pushing back ever so slightly We seem to have a problem here. So let's just see what was passing for some reason. Um, so for some reason, tiles start shutting off. So we'll look into that, see what the problem is there. Actually, that's all sorted. So basically, what I'd done is it wasn't clipped in properly at this side um, and at the bottom up there. So after I flushed it, it blocked the uh, flush just like the opening and closing off properly. So that's all sorted. So I had to put the. Please don't damage that. Alright, <laughs> bit more careful next time. So on the bottom, push over and hook on, making sure it's level. That's all done. So we'll get the toilet seat on there now. Um, get our plate stuck in there. Um, door, not plate, sorry. That door, door stuck in there, and that's done. And then we can move on to the basin. Right, so with the old basin out, stripped out, we'll start putting the new vanity unit in. So. I should have looked at this when I did the first fix really. There's no back space on the, no catchment space at the back for the pipe work to run. So it's all a bit too tight here. So what we have to do is, the thickness of that, we need to come out, get use the multi-tool. Best tool, add all of this. Get sure it's not the shit so many times. Um, so we'll cut, go a bit further out so that this pipe can just pull out just enough. So then that plate can fit down the back of there. At the moment, I could probably get away with it because of this catchment space here at the bottom. Well, the pipe will be coming at an angle. Um, and then what we'll do is inside, inside, we'll drill a bit of hole saw, drill a hole there, nice neat hole, similar size to that, and just slot it over the top then. And then, same with the shelf that goes in there. <laughs> There you go, it's all in the unit now. What I'm going to do, get level on there, drill it back to the wall, uh, get a couple of screws in there, and then we get the basin sat on top and the silicone down. So the basin's all in secured now, that's all in place, leveled up. Um, so we're going to make the basin up. We've just got the tap in, we're going to put our uh, waste in now. So I'll show you before, but I'll show you again how I make my waste up. It's a bit controversial, but uh, silicone, I always use OB1, it's my go to silicone now. Uh, really strong stuff, really good stuff. It comes with a 15 year warranty. Um, so, silicone all the way around, big blob all the way around there, and then we'll put that in. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll Wipe, clean it all out. Let that set before we test it out. 
only way to get these down really is through the silicone. So all the way around the the front. Do not get the door. I have done that before. And what about the day after to fit the bit to uh pipe it up? I couldn't open the door. <laughs> it was stuck to the bottom of the basin. And then we'll just put a couple of blobs at the back. Like so. This one added. Let's go in. Overhang a little bit, make sure it's even. No set. Let's get rid of it. Right. Get this pegged up. Not sure how we're going to do it. Yeah. Don't know. Get yeah, it cut, hot and cold. And then we'll just gonna extend this pipe up and attach it onto the trap which goes under there right so that piped up and then once we've done that we're done for the day right people we're all done all finished for today anyway uh just making around to show you what needs to do what it's done so i'm ready it just turned up so we just slung that on the wall as well um do a bit more Ooh, need some holes to fill now <laughs> um so yeah tonic hole in working fixed down um i've not siliconed just because there's a bit of finishing off to do on the top so once it's all done for silicon properly basins all being packed up and in the old isolation and rat tail trick so, same again there got a couple of tiles put on there so then we'll silicone that once it's tiled yeah i'm gonna paint it through so yeah all done so yeah all done for today i will see you guys tomorrow got a bit of jobbing around to do some little repairs. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the morning.